As the Twix County Sheriff says a man who admitted to killing an elderly couple last year is now confessing to killing three people in Macon nearly a year earlier. The original suspect in the Macon triple homicide is now released on bond. Remy Cohen joins us in studio to tell us what we know in tonight's top story. Yes, Lori, his name is Charles Rowland, and he allegedly confessed to committing that triple homicide. In November 2020, Ronald Green was charged with killing three people at an East Macon boarding house. He spent 17 months in jail, but according to Bibb County jail records, Green was released on bond yesterday. They got the wrong man. It's terrible that an innocent person has been locked up for almost a year and a half. Ronald Green served time in jail for a crime he didn't commit, says his attorney, Floyd Buford. In November 2020, Green was charged with killing three people at an East Macon boarding house. Buford says one of those people tried to take out a restraining order against Green. The situation that they really relied upon in Mr. Green is he had had some alleged conflict with a couple of ladies that lived there at the boarding house. Buford says there were no eyewitnesses, but a person who had access to the boarding house and lived there part time may have implicated Green. I heard that the DNA, the, the blood evidence uh, was not conclusive. Last month, Roland pleaded guilty to murdering a Twiggs County couple, Fred and Peggy White. Now he's serving life in prison. Since then, Twiggs Sheriff Darren Mitchum says Roland has confessed to other murders. They include the killings of Alice Randall, Alaric Cornelius, and Chester Novak, and that East Macon boarding house. He confessed to Bibb County investigators that he had, in fact, committed that murder and, and gave them a lot of details on it. Mitchum says in every case Roland's been involved in, there's been a burglary, robbery, theft, and all of the cases. Once that, we started piecing that together, started becoming more and more interesting that this guy knows about a, a lot of things that apparently he's either been at or he's done. As his, his investigators have 20 to 30 hours of interview time with Roland. He calls him very criminally smart and cunning and says his motives were all about money. Thank you, Ramey. Sheriff Mitchum added Roland hasn't shown remorse for any of the things he's accused of doing.